بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد continuing on in our treaties our study of Sheikh Islam ibn Taymiyyah's book على قيد التواصطية the creed of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah where Sheikh Islam ibn Taymiyyah began to speak about the continuing on at the last part of his treaties where he's talking about the belief after talking about the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the belief in the awliya, the belief in the the beloved servants to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, those people of the righteous, the Salihin, those people who Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala loves for their righteous deeds. And may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala bless us to be of His awliya, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ameen. Shaykh al-Islam, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he said, Women usul ahl sunnati أهل السنة التصديق بكرامات الأولياء وما يجري الله وما يجري الله على أيديهم من خوارق العادات في عنوا في عنوا العلوم ومكاشفات وعنوا القدرة وتأثيرات ومأثور عن السلف الأمم الأمم في سورة الكاف وغيرها وأن صدر هذه أمة من صحابة وتابعين وتابعين وصائر فرق الأمة وهي موجودة فيها إلى يوم القيامة. شيخ الإسلام رحمه الله تعالى said the testimony of the uh, that أهل السنة that they believe in the karamat like the miracles occurred uh, that occurred from the awliya that the awliya those righteous people had miracles are also forms and part of the belief in principles of Ahlul Sunnah and also they believe that those extraordinary occurrences and habits which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala manifests through them in terms of various uh, spiritual experiences, uh, hikmah, wisdom, and the powers and ways that they influenced others. That these are from Allah, given to His righteous servants. And those are mentioned in the Quran as well, in Surah Al-Kaf, regarding the former communities, about who the initial period of the Sahaba and the Tabi'een of this Ummah, and also those that exist in the groups of this Ummah till today, will continue to remain until the Day of Judgment. Meaning that certain people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has favored others, uh, some over others in accordance with their obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If they were one of the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's obedient, beloved servants, who Allah loves, then perhaps Allah might give them miracles and give them the abilities, uh, you know, extra knowledge. Look at those ulama, look at those great scholars that passed on uh, Islam to us. They helped preserve Islam. Why? Because they were righteous. They were the salihin. And they held on to Quran and Sunnah. And one thing, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, he wrote extensively. He has a book called Al-Farqan, which he talks about the awliya of Ar-Rahman and the awliya of the shaitan. The hizb shaitan wa hizb rahman That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks up in the Quran about Hezbollah. The Hezbollah is not those Rafa the Shia, not those wicked shayateen that we make takfir of and that make takfir of us. No. But rather... The, the only of Allah, the Hezbollah, they're the ones who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes when he says, That's what Allah subhanahu ta'ala says about Hezbollah. Not the Hezbollah that we see in Lebanon. But Hezbollah, those people who are, loving to, who are beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they love Allah and Allah loves them. 
Why? Because they held on to Quran. They held on to the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They did. They had our Allah wal bara. They loved for the sake of Allah, and they hated for the sake of Allah. They fought for the sake of Allah. They did everything for the pleasure of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. They sought knowledge for the sake of Allah. So the sake of Allah. They spread knowledge for the sake of Allah. They fought fi sabilillah. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "Man qatil li tukun kalimat Allahi ulya huwa fi sabilillah azza wa jal." Whoever fights to make Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala's word supreme, then he is fought fi sabilillah. This is from the characteristics of the awliya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those people who are the righteous servants of Allah. And may Allah bless us to be of them. And Ahlul Sunnah, we believe in them. And we believe that Allah has given some of them certain miracles. And certain, uh, not miracles such in the same way as the prophets. Alayhim afdal salatu wasalam. But they have been able to do uh, things which are outside of our regular explanation. Perhaps you may see a man, as some of the Salaf used to say, walking on water. They said, or flying through the air. Don't be amazed if you see a man walking on water or flying through, uh, flying through the air and think that he's from the Oli of Allah. But rather, ask, is he on the Sunnah or not? Because if he's not on the Sunnah and he's doing this, perhaps it's a jinn. Perhaps it's magic. Perhaps it's kufr. Perhaps it's zandaka that's allowing him to do this. Black magic, white magic, green magic, all this kufr. But... Ahl sunnah if, if you know this man to be of the Sunnah, he holds on to the Quran, he holds on to the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, and you see him doing those things, then know he's a man of the Sunnah, and he's from the only of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that Allah blessed him with that. And this is the case, what we see with our, our, our ulama, even ulama of this time, some of the great scholars, that imams of the Sunnah, look at Shaykh, uh, Shaykh al-Islam, Imam al-Albani, rahimahu wa ta'ala, Shaykh, Shaykh al-Islam, bin Baz, a mountain, in, in knowledge, Rahimullah Ta'ala, Shaykh Mukbil bin Hadi al Wadi, Shaykhana, Rahimullah Ta'ala, Muhaddith, and all these great scholars, Bin Uthimeen, and Alam and Fiqh, and those scholars that are living with Shaykh Abdul Masin al Abad, Shaykh Saleh bin Fuzan, all of these great scholars that offer us so much great and they uh, great benefit, and they hold on to Kitabillah, and they hold on to the sun Sunnah of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and we hope that Allah makes them from His Oliya. But we only know is that they have given great benefit to the Ummah, and that we should adhere to what they're upon upon Kitabillah, with Sunnah of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, as long as it has tawfiq with Kitabillah, with Sunnah of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And bless us to be from his awliya. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.